Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. So for this expression, I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to use conjugates. Let's go ahead and multiply the conjugate of the first one and then the multiply by the second one. So the, by, by conjugate, I mean here, if you have something like square root of x plus square root of y, its conjugate would be square root of x minus square root of y. And when two conjugates are multiplied from difference of two squares, you basically get rid of some of the radicals. So let's go ahead and do the following. We're going to multiply 2 plus root 3 by the conjugate of the denominator, which is root 2 minus root 2 plus root 3. And then the bottom one is just going to be from difference of two squares, 2 minus 2 plus root 3. And then for the second one, we do the same thing, but those we're not making a common denominator. Don't get me wrong. We're just multiplying by the conjugates. So the second one is going to be multiplied by root 2 plus, notice that we have a minus sign, so its conjugate is going to have a plus sign, plus the square root of 2 minus root 3. And the bottom is just going to be the difference of two squares, which is pretty much uh, similar to the first one, but it's a little different because uh, we're subtracting a 2 minus root 3. Okay. So let's go ahead and simplify each one of these, and then at some point we're going to make a common denominator, and then go from there. But let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. So looks like I can just simplify this. Before I distribute, let me go ahead and simplify the bottom first. When you subtract, you're going to get a negative root 3 from here. And the second one is going to give you a positive root 3. So let me go ahead and do the following. Let's write this one first. I'm going to go ahead and write it first because that will be subtraction. So I have 2 minus root 3 times root 2 plus root 2 minus root 3. And then that is divided by root 3. That's a positive. Minus, because the second one has a, um, or the first one here is a negative root 3. 2 plus root 3 multiplied by root 2 minus root 2 plus root 3 divided by root 3. Now, I kind of switched them around, right? So now we're going to subtract the numerators. Let's go ahead and do that now. But notice that uh, we have some terms that are going to cancel out. So let's see if we can simplify the first. I'll probably just distribute the whole thing and then simplify that way. Let's go ahead and multiply 2 times root 2, 2 root 2, plus 2 times root 2 minus root 3, and then minus root 6. And now these two radicals, when multiplied, they're going to give us something like this, minus root 6 minus 3 root 3. Because I'm basically distributing the 3 over the 2 minus root 3, and that's what I get. Minus, now we've got to be careful here. Let's go ahead and write this whole thing in parentheses because we're subtracting it. 2 root 2 minus 2 times root 2 plus root 3 plus root 6 minus square root of 6 plus 3 root 3. Just like the other one, but with a plus sign. And the whole thing is going to be divided by root 3. So let's go ahead and simplify this. 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2. They're going to cancel out. Anything else? Root 6, negative root 6 minus root 6. That's, they're not going to cancel out. So pretty much uh, the only thing that cancels out here is, you know, what we get from here, right? So let's see what we get from here. Um, we get 2... And this is also going to be a positive sign. So let's go ahead and write that first. 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3 plus 2 times the square root of 2 minus root 3. That takes care of this one and this one. We have root 6 minus, uh, minus root 6 minus root 6. That's going to be a minus sign. But let's go ahead and take a look at this first. This is going to be a positive. So positive. And I can actually take the 3 out. So kind of like write it as root 3 times uh, 2 plus root 3 and then that takes care of this one and this one can be written as minus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3 okay that pretty much take uh, took care of everything except for these two that's going to give me minus 2 root 6 and the whole thing is going to di be divided by root 3 okay this still looks very complicated but let's go ahead and do the following uh, we have 
and I could probably do the following instead of just distributing the whole thing I could multiply this by that and I would pretty much um, you know have something more compact but anyways we can still do it so let's go ahead and write it this way I have 2 plus root 3 and then that is multiplied by let's see uh, I could probably do the following let me go ahead and do it this way keep changing my mind okay I'll take out a 2 here and write this as square root of 2 plus root 3 plus square root of 2 minus root 3 and then I'll take out a um, so I've taken care of those two things I'll take out a root 3 and write this one as root 2 plus root 3 minus root 2 minus root 3 again these are different because there's a minus sign in between and then minus 2 root 6 now here's what it comes down to I kind of need to find out what these expressions are so I gotta find out what this is and I gotta find out what this is so let's go ahead and do them separately let's evaluate this expression let's call it um, how about setting it equal to x I'll square both sides when you square both sides you're gonna get something like this plus 2ab is just gonna give you a 2 because 4 minus 3 equals 1 so from difference of two squares this gives you x squared and x squared becomes 6 which means x is equal to square root of 6 so we got the first one let's go ahead and find the second one which is the minus sign square root of 2 plus root 3 minus square root of 2 minus root 3 let's call this y square both sides again I'm just kind of writing the 2ab last and that's just going to be a 2 because uh, these are conjugates all right that equals y squared the 2's cancel out the root 3's cancel out we only end up with 2 so from here y squared equals 2 and y equals square root of 2 so we got the value of uh, the difference and the sum these two things now we can go ahead and substitute them here so I have 2 times root 6 which is the first one right 2 times root 6 and then plus root 3 times root 2 which is the second one the difference minus 2 root 6 divided by root 3 which is the bottom right notice that this gives us well first of all 2 root 6 cancels out and then this gives us root 6 over root 3 or you can just simplify like cancel out the root 3 and you end up with root 2 and that is going to be our answer all right let's go ahead and take a look at the second method for my second method I would like to evaluate these expressions so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply this by root 2 and divide by root 2. Inside the radical, I'll have 4 plus 2 root 3 divided by root 2. And notice that this is equivalent to 3 plus 1 plus 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 1 and the square root of all of that. And obviously, that is equivalent to square root of 3 plus 1 squared and then square root of that. Hopefully, that makes sense the square root and the square root and the square cancels out leaving us with root 3 plus 1 I don't have to write square root of 1 root 3 plus 1 divided by root 2 and if you multiply by the conjugate you're going to get root 6 plus root 2 divided by 2 so that is my first one and similarly square root of so square root of 2 plus root 3 can be written as root 6 plus root 2 over 2 and if you put a minus sign this is going to be a minus sign we also have a formula which we recently talked about you can also use it to simplify this expression now let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get from here all right so in my expression i have the following 2 plus root 3 divided by square root of 2 plus the plus version of positive version of this one so it's going to be root 6 plus root 2 over 2 and the second one is 2 minus root 3 divided by square root of 2 minus root 6 minus root 2 over 2 so what I found here I'm basically substituting them in this expression make sense let's make a common denominator at the bottom uh, and then uh, you, you know we're gonna get something divided by 2 so we're gonna flip it and multiply the top by 2 so we're gonna get the following 4 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2 plus the root 2 that's gonna give us 3 root 2 plus root 6 and the second one is going to give us multi after multiplying by 2 because we have a 2 here we're going to get 2 root 2 plus 2 plus root 2 that's 3 root 2 minus root 6 notice that there's a minus sign here 
So now these denominators are basically conjugates. So why not why not multiply by conjugate? It's equivalent to making a common denominator. So it's both. So we're going to get something like this if we do that. And the rest is just going to be simplifying this expression. Let's go ahead and do that. When we multiply the bottoms from difference of 2 squares, we get 18 minus 6, which is 12. Because 3 root 2 squared is 18. Now let's go ahead and distribute everything. 12 root 2 minus 4 root 6 plus 6 root 6 minus 2 root 18, which can be written as... 2 times 3 root 2, which is 6 root 2. All right, that's easy, right? 12 root 2 plus 4 root 6 minus 6 root 6 minus 6 root 2. So we're kind of repeating this expression right here. All of that is divided by 12. Let's see if anything cancels out. 4 root 6, 4 root 6, 6 root 6, 6 root 6. And then we have minus root 2, minus, minus 6 root 2 and minus 6 root 2. That's going to make 6 root 2, right? So it's kind of like weird, right? Uh, we can basically write this as um, okay, 24 minus 12, which is 12 root 2, divided by 12, and that gives us the same answer, square root of 2. So that complicated expression turns out to be just square root of 2. So it's just another way of writing square root of 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.